opinion. You always break the game down into periods. <clears throat> yeah. You think you won the first two, and then <laughs> you know what? The first um, we had some really good chances to score in the first, and uh, only managed one out of there. I would like I would have liked to have a few more. Problem with that period for me is we were trading chances a little bit. There yeah. was more scoring chances, quality scoring chances in the first period uh, tonight than probably through 40 minutes the other night. Mm -hmm. um, so we didn't want to get into a track meet with them. They're a highly skilled team, so I thought we could have checked better in the first. Second period, I liked I liked it a lot. I thought we did a better yeah. job in that regard. We managed to score a couple of goals. Um, yeah, and the third and the third was okay too. You know, we just they made a couple of plays and, and tied the score, and and then overtime we traded some chances, yeah. and then uh, shootout is what it is. You know, you, yeah. you're hoping for you know one of your guys to score and, and pick up a save, but. That's kind of a 50-50 deal for me. So I think uh, it, it, hey, it's disappointing because we had them right there, and yeah. then they, they got to make a skill play at the end of the game and it costs us. But um, points are important, right. you know. I hate to lose one to them. It's a team yeah. we're battling with, but a lot of a lot of room to go. We'll take the points. It's, it is it is what it is. You gotta you gotta take the bright side. We played hard, played again, give yeah. ourselves a real good chance of winning. And you're always a big picture guy, so you get 12 out of 14. Here, I mean, you gotta be keep it rolling. Happy with that keep one. it rolling. Yeah, exactly. We'll take that all day. Now we gotta go on the road and and and, and uh, repeat what we're doing at home. You know, that's the key right now. Our road record isn't as good as our home record, mm -hmm. and we gotta find a way to kind of push uh, close the gap there. So we got some road games coming up. So it's it's an opportunity for us to kind of prove to ourselves we're a good team on the road as well. It's easy to write about the guys who score goals, but talk about some of the players who have really helped you on this home stand. Who maybe not be you know like. Milano and yeah, you know, guys who are scoring. Well, you know those guys are. You know he's an offensive guy, but right. he's, he had a really good uh, two games here against mm -hmm. Milwaukee. I mean he was up and skating. Yeah. We talked about it the other day when he's skating and he's engaging in the battle. He's a dangerous player offensively, and if he can get the puck more, you know, and, and that's why you need to engage in the battle. When he does that, he's dangerous. Uh, a couple other guys like. When you look at, at what Gallant brings to our team, you know, you can play teams where some of their heavier guys will yeah. run around and take some liberties. It looked like he was kind of getting that way tonight. And he's, he has the ability to calm things down, and he's a better player than what people might give him credit for. It's mm -hmm. not all about points, goals, and assists, you know what I mean? He, he contributes in a lot of ways. Uh, Lucas Sedlak's another guy. He yeah. doesn't have a bunch of points. You look at him on the, on the score sheet, but he plays a big role for us, penalty killing every night. And, uh, that's, he's one of the reasons why it's at the top, and one of the tops in the leagues, and, and, and just the way he checks other teams' skill. I mean, it's a very, very difficult guy to play against. So we got a lot of guys like that. Everyone has a specific role in our team, and a lot of guys are playing, uh, playing their role, you know, very well right now. And that's what we need. It's a, you got to be an unselfish group. It's got to be a team-first mentality, and I think right now we have that. Thanks.